Hi, Anton from Northwest Gas Certificates. A little job I came to a couple of months ago in Salford. No hot water or heating from this Froley Optimax 25C. As you can see, hot tap on, absolutely no response from the boiler. No fan kicking in, no pump kicking in, no response whatsoever, no hot water. Let's try the heating, let's turn the thermostat up till we get a click. Again, no noise, no sound, no nothing firing up at the boiler whatsoever. What I did find, if I turned the boiler off at the wall um, and turned it back on, um, the boiler would go into its purge cycle. As you can hear, you can hear the fan coming on, the pump comes on, they both come on for a short time. For example, the fan's coming on just to purge any potential unwanted gases in the heat exchange. Uh, so, but it proves that the fan is actually working and spinning, which you can see, you can hear it then. Um, again, the pump, I could, I could feel that that had come on as well. So these components were working, but not coming on when heating or hot water was um, demand it. There I'm putting it into service mode and strangely enough when I put it into service mode the boiler fires up. The diverter valve changes over to heating there which is A, no sorry B, that's heating. The uh, fan kicks in, the pump kicks in um, and it ignites. So that tells me the boiler is actually working. So what is the problem? I actually phoned Froley, if you can hear me over that fan, um, and Froley told me, right, well, if, if it's firing up in service mode, there's one potential thing it could be. It could be the flue temperature thermistor, that, that, that component there on the flue. This um, the service mode will override that safety feature. So potentially that's at fault. Um, if we un unclip it, we can actually test that thermistor with the multimeter. We've got two little metal prongs there that we can put our multimeter on and we can check it for ohms. Um, as you can see on the multimeter there, we put it onto ohms. Um, and we can check the resistance and see what the resistance equates to in terms of temperature. That is giving 6.9 kilo ohms, which basically equates to 34 degrees, which is too hot. It's not 34 degrees. So that tells me that is at fault. As you can see, I've brought along a new one here. Got a new one there in the packet. Um, before I use that, let's test that and see what we should be getting. It's room temperature now in the house. We're getting, instead of 6.9, we're getting 13.4, which equates to around 18, 19 degrees. That, that seems um, correct, and that's what it should be reading. So, We've swapped it over. I've managed to swap it over without taking that bracket off. I've just loosened the bracket off. So it's a bit awkward and I've managed to tuck it under and, and clip it under the bracket. Um, it did come with a new bracket, but I've, I've reused the old bracket there. I've, I've clipped the leads back on. Let's turn the boiler back on now. It doesn't fire up, but the fan kicks in, as you can hear. Um, 
it just goes through its little cycle because it's an old boiler I'm just gonna let it let it let it let it do its cycle before I attempt to try the heating or hot water so fingers crossed let's see so we go over hot tap on Sounds good, the fans kicked in. Yeah, looking good, we have hot water. So that's one, one thing ticked off now. Let's try the heating to return the return, um, thermostat up, we can see the diverter valve going over to heating mode, which is the B. That's a good sign. The pump kicks in, another good sign. So it's going through its ignition sequence. The fan kicks in and the boiler ignites. So it be a good time. And we have heating. So all that over a little flu for mister. Now that's changed, everything's working. We've got heating in the hot water again. Quite a cheap part to buy. Customers happy. We'll go through our safety checks, which I'm not gonna um, show them on the video because that's just standard practice. Hope you've enjoyed it. Just a little video. You don't get many of these boilers about anymore. Uh, but still interesting and it's in, you know it's useful to see how we test the thermistors uh, because they are on all boilers so it is worth um, knowing that. I will do another little short video showing um, the thermistor chart and all the different readings and what they equate to in terms of temperature because that is quite handy to have. Right, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you.